Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I admittedly, I'm gonna talk about products that I've changed my mind about. I'm a very moody person. If you ask my husband, he will tell you. Sometimes those mood swings, they come around. I feel like with makeup, it really depends on the time of the month. Let's face it, most of us here are women. According to my analytics, if you're a guy, I love it. I welcome all, but throughout my cycle, some days my skin is dry. Some days it's really oily, not really oily, but oilier, oily for me, you know? So it's just, it depends. I've been using these products for a really long time. Either I do like them or I don't really like them. So I am giving these products the floor. I have judged them incorrectly. Some of them for the better, some of them for the worse, but we are about to hop right into it. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my channel. If you like this video and you would like to see more videos like it, then do be sure to give it a thumbs up. Opinions change. And this is my newfound opinion on each and every one of these. Okay, so the first product that I wanna talk about because I actually would like to put some on, Fenty Glow. This is the OG Fenty lip gloss, okay? I didn't really love this, I'm gonna be honest. And that goes against the popular opinion. Guys, it's really good. It just kind of, oh, the reflection is just like so good and it's definitely a thicker formula. I do love the formula. I don't love this when I first put it on because I don't know. I just, it looks better lived in to me and it's the kind of gloss that fills those lines in. So if you're someone that has, you know, wrinkly lips, which I definitely have, or someone that has chapped lips, it's just gonna like fill in anything it needs to fill in and it's gonna hydrate, which I think is a reason why I like it a little bit after I've put it on because it really gives it the time to kind of sink into the lip. Where at first I feel like it kind of just sits on top. Like after a while, they won't look as shiny as they do right now, but they'll feel hydrated, which is really important to me, I hate matte liquid lipsticks. I also don't really enjoy a bullet matte lipstick, although I'm about to talk about some that I judged incorrectly and now I'm a big fan of. You could probably guess if you frequent my channel, but I love the look of a matte lip though. I'm like scared to take these out. The Pat McGrath ones, you guys have seen them. I have so many of them. <gasps> See, this is why I hate them. I still hate them for this reason, but I learned to really like the formula. Whereas before I really didn't love the formula, I wasn't impressed, but I am impressed. I'm just not impressed by the mini components because they are trash and they should not be acceptable. I get that you got these for a really good deal by buying the minis in a bundle, but I'm sorry. We, we should be doing better than lipsticks totally falling out of the bullet. I don't wanna get them all over me, but the Elsin lipstick, all right, fine. I'll show you in the bullet. I will link a video up here showing you guys like them on, swatched on the lips if you're really interested in them. But this is in the shade Elsin, Obsessed, which I'm pretty sure is more of like a pink shade. No, that's red, I'm sorry, this is the pink shade. Uh, full panic. Something's in my eye. This one is hot pink. Okay. I really want a full size Pat McGrath lipstick. It's a very comfortable matte. And the fact that it stays on so long and I don't need to reapply it is really what sells me. I hate the minis. Never buy a mini. Never, ever, ever, ever buy the minis. Buy a full size. People have different tastes. And a lot of people, when I do their makeup, want their lip liner to match their lipstick. I am just not that chick. That's not me. I want my lip liner to match the shadows of my face because I can overline the crap out of my lips and I really want a big juicy lip. Which if you're someone that likes that, get a lip liner that is darker than your lipstick. Standard rule. If you're someone that doesn't want to overdraw your lips, you want to just keep the shape of your lips, get pillow talk. So I'm not saying that this is awful. I'm just saying this isn't for me. Overlining your lips with this pink does not look natural. It just, it doesn't. So I need like a brownish peachy tone because that is, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's the 
the tone of my shadow. You could use a lip liner that matches the shadows of your face on any lipstick. It's just gonna look like a shadow on your face. It's gonna look really natural. I love Iconic Nude. It is my favorite lip liner at the moment. And when I bought it, I didn't love it and I misjudged it. Trip Down was my favorite for a hot minute there, but the Iconic Nude just blows it out of the water. I love the formulation. I used to just say like Charlotte Tilbury was whatever, but if there was just a brand that I have changed my mind on as a whole, it is definitely Charlotte Tilbury and every product that I said I didn't really love, I absolutely love, except for her Hollywood Contour Wand. Changed my mind for the worse. Like I don't like that product. So we could throw that in here as well. I'll put a picture of the Hollywood Contour Wand. No. I, I liked it, now I'm over it. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of lip products and we're gonna just go through them quickly, okay? Hanalei Lip Treatment in Clear. I love the scent of this. It kind of has like a cashmere scent. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, it smells really sophisticated. It doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't leave my lips hydrated. It's kind of like that thing where it feels nice when it's on, but it evaporates really quickly. It doesn't stay on the lips very long. And once it leaves, my lips are no longer feeling good. They feel like they need a big glass of water. So I am over this, not a fan of this any longer. Maracuja Juicy Lip. This is just a mess. Like it has a pump on the bottom. It just like goes everywhere and it goes on really chunky. Like I don't know if you can see that, but it's not very smooth. You'll get product like on the edge of this and go to put it on your lips and it just like puts it outside of where you want it. It doesn't pair well with other lip products. It's just really chunky, gloppy. And I personally, myself, would just rather throw a little bit of lip liner and a nice gloss over it and call it a day. Not this gloss. I don't, I'm not, I'm not into it. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, guys. This is so overrated. So many people like this. When, but let me ask you a question. And I want to hear the honest truth because maybe this is just a me thing and it's not a we thing. When you wake up in the morning, do your lips feel hydrated? Like, do they feel hydrated? Because when I put this on, I love the scent. It's very nice. I like the pink, very pleasing to the eyeballs. I'm a fan of the packaging, all of that. But in the morning, my lips might look smooth, but they don't feel smooth. Like they don't feel like they took a tall glass of water. I feel like this is like a temporary fix. It kind of leaves me feeling dry, even if they don't look dry. Primera Clean Lip Mask. That my friends is where it's at. Or just simple Vaseline. Those are my nighttime go-tos. This, no longer. I'm no longer into this. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I was like, whatever, this is a nothing. Eh, overrated. I was like, it's just overrated. Guys, I use this every day. This is my favorite lipstick at the moment. No matter what lip mood I'm in, I use this. It is so freaking versatile. If I go to work and I just want a little bit of color on my lips, I will take the lipstick and just pat it on my lips, like a really light amount of lipstick on the lips and it just matches my lip color perfectly and just kind of makes them look a little bit more pigmented. So it makes a beautiful undone lip, but it also makes an insane done up lip. Give yourself a good wipe down of this, throw some iconic nude, use a lip liner that's a little bit darker than this lipstick and oh my God, it's gonna look so good. And this is a very, very comfortable matte lipstick. Charlotte Tilbury matte lipsticks are even more comfortable, in my opinion, than the Pat McGrath ones. It will look smooth and it will look really nice over lips that are nice and hydrated and aren't crusty. You know, if you need to use a lip scrub before a matte lipstick, that's always a good idea, but this is just so comfortable, which is why I retract all the negative things I said about it in the past. Okay, for blushes, I changed my mind on these two. So this is the Tower 28 in Happy Hour. I kind of was mad at him. I think I have every right to be mad at him because if you guys watched my video, like I don't know if you can see, but he has like just chunks. It was sent to me in the summer. I think that it kind of melted and then dried down. And so all of these bubbles are in it. And I said that it's kind of hard to blend. I used a different dome brush and it's a crown one. I will show you guys what it looks like right here, but it looks really good. And this color is better than the other color, the After Hours one, which I love, which is that beautiful purple one that I was like ranting and raving about. I do love that one, but this one just, I should have worn it today. Monday through Friday when I'm going to work and I just want like a beautiful, oh my God, guys, this makes me look five years younger. And you might look at this and be thinking like, oh, that's such a summer like shade, such a summer shade. But for me, it just like 
matches the natural flush in my face. It's just so pretty. And I put a decent amount of it. I put it like in a W across my nose because I don't wear a lot of work, uh, makeup to go to work. I just don't, I don't have time in the morning and I'd rather sleep quite honestly, but just a decent amount of this it makes me look like I'm naturally flushed. It matches the tones in my skin so well. And it gives you that like dewy, juicy skin because this is such a hydrating product. It's just gonna make your whole complexion look amazing. This will move whatever it is you put on before. So if you went ahead and put contour and bronzer and foundation on, make sure that you're patting this into the skin. And I find that a dome brush works the best with this and pat it into the skin. Don't swipe it because you'll move it. I don't think a sponge does this product justice. I think that a sponge waters down the pigmentation of this blush and just takes away from its beauty. So definitely use a dome brush. I highly recommend. Say beauty. We're almost done. This is my third video today, guys. So I bet you guys like, maybe not. Maybe I'm just giving myself too much credit that you guys would take note in what it is I'm wearing. But yeah, I've worn this outfit in the last three videos because I filmed all of them today. I don't have time to change. I also don't have enough clothes to change to look good for each and every one of these videos. I used to do that all the time and I found it so frustrating. So I'm just wearing the same thing. Anyway, Say Beauty, Dewy Blush and Peachy. I wasn't a fan of this shade, but I love it. This is like a vibe. Like this is when I'm feeling moody. This is like a really nice date night kind of blush. It's that sexy, like the tone is just so good. I'm wearing this today. I put a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury from her face palette, the Nude Gasm face palette, which I did do a video on. I put a little bit of that over it and I didn't put a lot of this on, but this is just like a date night blush. It's so pretty. It looks so natural. And the first time that I used it, I was just like, this is not pigmented enough. I like the formula, which I still love the formula, but I was like, but the shade isn't for me. I need something a little bit more darker. No, this is like, the perfect blush tone. I didn't really like her and I still don't like her, but I will say that I do like her. I still don't like her for a reason. So this is the Julep Cushion Complexion 5-in-1 Skin Perfecting with Turmeric. I don't like this as a concealer. This does not look good underneath my eyes. I will use this as a foundation to just spot treat areas of my face. I literally use this every single day for like three months there. For the last month and a half I've been using, I'm back on my It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I love that product. If I could only use like one foundation for the rest of my life, I could only repurchase one thing, it would definitely be my CC Plus Cream. I'm thinking about uploading a video sharing my most repurchased products. If you wanna see that, let me know down below in the comments. I will get that for you guys because I have gone through so many products lately. I'm just trying to lead a more minimalist life. So I'm trying to work through what I have. I've gone through so many things. It makes me so happy, like genuinely happy. I love going through things like not wasting my money or wasting plastic. It's just, it's so good. Such a good feeling. Yeah, CC Plus Cream is definitely one of them but I will let you guys know other products that I repurchase all the time because I repurchase the same thing. Because again, if I really love something, like I really love it. I'm just trying to find the best of the best, honestly. So anyway, what was I saying about this? I put this in the center of my face and then blend it out using a brush, pushing it, stamping it, pressing it into the skin. Yeah, that is how I use this when I would go to work. It leaves a really nice base to the face. It's like perfected, but it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, but you do really, really need to take the time to blend it out. I mean, it's not like really off though. Like that's not a bad shade for me. Just sometimes it would lean a little orange. If I didn't blend it out, excuse me, you would see like on the outskirts of where the product stopped, it was a little bit orange in contrast to my face. So if you're gonna use this as an all over face product, just take the time to blend it out is what I'm saying, okay? Okay. Once I finish my CC Plus Cream, I will go back to this before then repurchasing another CC Plus Cream, if you all need to know like that information. Okay, really quick, these are my last three products. I really loved this this mascara for a while there. Ciate London Triple Shot XXL Mascara. I like the brush. I like, yeah, I liked it, but towards the end of it, and I only have been using my mascara for three months, guys. I was using my mascara for way too long, like six, eight, 12 months, and that's just not good for your eyes. So month two of using this as I started to get, not even to the end of it, because there's still product in here. It started transferring underneath my eyes, and I don't do that. That's not for me. I don't want to look like a raccoon. The second that a mascara flakes, I'm done. 
it will never go on my face again. I know that sounds really high may of me, but that's just what it is. Like I have pet peeves about certain things. I can deal with a lot, I can make a lot work, but if you're a mascara that's gonna flake all over my face, I'm out. I'm out on you, I'm just, I'm out. So triple shot, not for me. Also this, I changed my mind. I really like this and then I was just like, no. I don't like the bristles. It made my lashes look really clumpy. And I know a lot of you really like this. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. I know a lot of you like this. It just, it wasn't for me. I don't have a lot of lashes and I don't have long lashes, but I find that volumizing lashes, lashes, volumizing mascara, sometimes drives me nuts and looks crazy on my lashes. I will pick a lengthening mascara all day, every day over a volumizing mascara. If there's a mascara that can get volume and length right, which for me is the Lancome Lashy Doll, I love it. There have been a lot of chef's kisses in this video. This just gives me too much volume and not enough length and I'm not about it and it makes them look too chunky monkey. So yeah, that is it. I feel like I changed my mind on a lot of these for the better, which makes me really happy. The only thing I am not going to be using going forward, like I'm still gonna use these products even if I said that I didn't like them because I spent my money on them and that is how we roll here on my channel. But the only products that I'm not gonna be using that you will not be seeing from me probably ever again are the two mascaras because they are now expired and I'm going to place them in the trash. If you enjoyed this video, guys, do be sure to let me know down below. Let me know if you would like to see more of these. Is there a product that you have changed your mind on recently? You know, what did you think initially? What did you think later? I would love to hear. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.